Conservative New Media viewers, Jeremy Lin, fans around the world, Charlotte Hornets fans around the world. What's up? It's me, PFE, Paul F. Villarreal, the NBA expert. We're here to discuss Charlotte's 109-101 to loss tonight to the Washington Wizards in Washington, D.C. in game number 26 for Charlotte on the season. The defeat drops them to 15-11 and on the year. The player of the game for the Wizards was John Wall, who had 27 points and I believe 12 assists to go with it. The various starters, including uh, Jared Dudley, who was not usually a starter, played well for the Wizards, Garrett Temple also. And what I think happened to Charlotte in this game was I think that Washington was more focused than Charlotte was for most of the game. And then Charlotte made a really nice comeback late in the fourth quarter. They almost had a chance to sneak out the win. They couldn't quite get it done, and therefore Washington took the victory. Now, Jeremy Lin, let's talk about him, right? Jeremy Lin had 15 points, 6 rebounds, 7 assists. I actually thought he had 8 assists, and he did, and then they took one away from him on the stat sheet. I'm not sure exactly why that happened, but it did happen. So, and I made a note, my own notes. Jeremy had, I would say, at least eight unconverted assist opportunities, meaning where if the player makes a shot, then Jeremy would have gotten an assist. Two of them were Spencer Hall's, where it was right at the rim. But it happens if it's a player that's more athletic than Spencer Hall's, then those are probably definitely converted shots. But that's the way it goes. And uh, that's how it is. It's almost like when Jeremy played with Omer Ashik in Houston, where you, you'd miss a couple of assist opportunities maybe each game just because of what Omer Ashik's limitations are. He was a minus seven on the game. Jeremy had three turnovers. He played 36 minutes. He shot six of 13 from the field, including two of two from three point range, one of one from the free throw line, and his efficiency was 18 in 36 minutes, which is pr- that's good, it's solid. It's it's a good number. Jeremy came into this game with a 16.1 per, and I would imagine that will go up slightly after this game. Jeremy was fantastic in this game. He really played a good game, and I thought that early on and for the majority of this game, Jeremy was the best Hornets player on the floor, and I thought he was the one most focused on winning the game. I'm not saying that other guys weren't trying or that they they didn't care, but I'm just saying that I thought Jeremy was the most locked in on trying to get the win. I think that's why Steve Clifford played him as much as he did. He was second in minutes only to Kemba Walker, who played 41 minutes tonight. So evaluating this from a, a – for the Hornets, it's a shame. They lost, but it's – I think they beat Washington in Charlotte a few weeks ago and beat them pretty good. So this is kind of a payback game for Washington, and it's not a big surprise that they won, even though they're missing some players right now. The team has dropped three of their last four games. And that's, I mean, that's obviously that's not what you're looking for, but they're still 15 and 11. They're they're still in decent position and they should be okay. Um, Nick Batum's just coming off of being sick. Obviously, they're still missing out. Jefferson, I think, Ab will be out for two more games, I believe, uh, that, that he'll be serving his five game suspension. And of course, they don't have Michael Kidd Gilchrist. So, it's uh, the team is. I, I'm not real worried about the team. This is the easiest way to say it. You know, they played great against Toronto, and that game took a lot of energy and and fight from the team. I'm not saying they're not recovered from that, but if you had to win one of these two games, I'm glad they won the Toronto game. That's a home game against a very good team, and they needed that game, and I'm glad that they won it. So. Jeremy himself is clearly on the upswing, and Steve Clifford is showing more trust, more confidence in Jeremy Lin, and it's paying off right now. We talked about this and how it worked in the Toronto game. I mentioned that it, it was Steve Clifford let Jeremy play through a couple things several games before the Toronto game. I don't remember which game it is right now. Now it's starting to, to really 
show the results. Jeremy played fantastic tonight. He was aggressive. He was decisive. He made perimeter shots. One of the absolute keys for Jeremy's game is making perimeter shots. If he makes his, his outside shots, everything gets easier for him. Everything gets easier. Of course, that's the same for many players in the NBA, but we're only talking about Jeremy. And now he's starting to hit his perimeter shots. He did it in Toronto, and he did it tonight. And that's going to – it's it, everything will get easier for him, and he will get more minutes on the court when he's making those shots. So I'm very happy to see that be the case again tonight. There are three primary ball handlers and and high skill level guys on this team that the team needs to perform well if they're going to if the team is going to be at its best, and that's Kemba Walker, Jeremy Lin, and Nick Batum, and they're starting to get that sink. This wasn't the greatest game for Kemba. Nick, as I mentioned, just coming off the illness, Nick really was good late in this game. He really picked it up. But you don't expect him to be at full strength yet as he is returning from illness. But when those three guys can get into a groove themselves and with each other, that's when this team is going to really do what it's capable of doing. And, I, you know, Kemba played – excuse me. Jeremy Lynn played well tonight and Nick Batum played well tonight late. So Kemba was a little bit off. But you're still starting to see the potential of what this team can be to say nothing of Al Jefferson or other big men. But I think at the, at its best, this team is a running team with high pace, and that's going to rely on Kemba, Jeremy, and Nick. And so we want to see those guys working together more and more, and they're getting there. They're getting there. There's still, I think, some chemistry to be worked out between Nick and Jeremy. Like there was a miscommunication on one play in this game, but, I mean, it's normal. It's, it's, it's going to happen. They're both new teammates, and... Nick's often with the first team, and Jeremy's often been with the second team. So it's just it's going to take time. I think Nick and I think Jeremy's and Kemba's chemistry is definitely improving. He just gets better and better and better. They had a lot of nice plays in this game. So overall, I'm extremely happy. If you're a Jeremy Lin fan, he looks like he's really shoring up the sixth man spot. Looks like he's the go-to starter when somebody's hurt or injured or ill like Nick or P.J. Hairston, and Clifford clearly is putting more trust in Jeremy Lin, and Jeremy Lin is responding and playing the best basketball of the year and some of the best basketball of his career. So as I said, the best is yet to come. It's going to get better, health provided and everything else, knock on wood or whatever good luck charms you, you, you go for. This is going to get better. It's going to get better for Jeremy, and it's going to get better for the team. So we'll move on to the next game, which will take place two days from now on Monday, December 21st here in the United States. I don't have the information in front of me, so I can't tell you exactly what time it is. Um, obviously, it'll take place then the, the following day in Taiwan and throughout Asia. So that is it. I'm very encouraged by this game. Very encouraged. I love the way Steve Clifford has, has dealt with Jeremy Lin recently, and I think bit better and better things are yet to come. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Your comments below. Thanks a lot for watching Conservative New Media. Again, I am PFE Paul F. Villarreal, the NBA expert. Also, thank you to Gary Chen and the Jeremy Only Lin Garden people for the artwork you're looking at right now. You'll find more information about them this game highlights and how you can come and sync up with us here at Conservative Media in the video description below the video player. Hope you're having a great night and a great day wherever you are around the world when you watch this video. Take care and we will talk to you again real soon. Love it. Love what's happening right now. I hope everybody's having a great holiday season.